Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Can you find how many solutions there are to the equation m to the 4 plus 8n squared plus 425 is equal to n to the 4 plus 42m squared where m and n are integers? If you want to give this problem a go, pause the video now and when you're ready, we'll go through the solution together. We can start solving this problem by collecting the m's and the n's onto one side. So writing this as m to the 4 minus 42m squared plus 425 is n to the 4 minus 8n squared. And then we can recognize that both these quartic equations resemble a quadratic. And so we might try and factorize the left side as m squared minus 17 and m squared minus 25. Likewise, on the right side, we can write that as n squared, n squared minus 8. But here we run into some trouble. There isn't really anything that we can do to continue from here. There's nothing that the left side is telling us about the right side and vice versa. Instead, how we're going to do this is we're going to complete the square on both sides. So we can write the left side as m squared minus 21, all squared, minus 21 squared, which is 441, and then add back in the 425. And the right side will become n squared minus 4, all squared, minus 4 squared is 16. Because now we can realize that 425 minus 441 is minus 16. So both those minus 16s are going to cancel out to leave us with n squared minus 21 squared is equal to n squared minus 4 squared. And taking the square root of both sides leaves us with n squared minus 21 equals plus or minus n squared minus 4. With our two possible cases, we can consider case 1 first. So this says that m squared minus n squared is equal to 17. And we can factorize the left side as m plus n and n minus n. This leaves us with another four possible cases. That is that m plus n will be 1 times 17, 17 times 1, or minus 1 times minus 17, and minus 17 times minus 1. In the first case, where m plus n is 1 and m minus n is 17, that leaves us with m equal to 9 and n equal to minus 8. In the second case, we have m is equal to 9 and n is equal to plus 8. In the first possibility, we have that m is equal to minus 9 and n is equal to 8. And lastly, m is equal to minus 9 and n could be minus 8. So in total, the solutions here for m and n are plus or minus 9 and plus or minus 8. And now solving case 2, we have that m squared plus n squared is equal to 25. This is the Py Pythagorean triple, 3 squared plus 4 squared equaling 5 squared. So here we have the solutions m and n being plus or minus 3, plus or minus 4, or plus or minus 4 and plus or minus 3. Equally though, we could have that m could be 0 and n would be either plus or minus 5. And vice versa would mean that m could be plus or minus 5 and n would be 0. So these are all the solutions we have. There are a total of 4 solutions in case 1 and a total of 12 solutions in case 2. So the answer to this question, how many solutions are there to this problem? There are 16 solutions.